Hi guys, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem, cut the sticks. You are given a number of sticks of varying lengths. You will iteratively cut the sticks into smaller sticks, discarding the shortest pieces until there are none left. At each iteration, you will determine the length of the shortest stick remaining, cut that length from each of the longer sticks and then discard all the pieces of that shortest length. When all the remaining sticks are the same length, they cannot be shortened. So discard them. Given the length of n sticks, print the number of sticks that are left before each iteration until there are none left. Let's see an example. Here n equals 3 and the length of sticks is 1, 2, 3. The first short stick is 1. So they are subtracting 2 and 3 by 1. After that discard the shortest stick. Now the array will be 1 and 2. Again the shortest stick will be 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Finally, the array is 1. We can short the stick further, so we will discard it. So the answer is 3, 2, 1. That is the length of the array after each iteration. Initially, 3. After that, 2. Finally, it will be 1. But we don't have to do the same operations to solve the problem. Let's solve it to understand it completely. First, we need to import a module from collections import counter. Now initialize the result that is a list. Now find the length of the list n equals length of array. After that we will make a hash map of the array that is counter of array. This will return a dictionary. Why we are taking dictionary? Because each key value will be unique and we can have the number of counts as a value. Now iterate the keys for i in sorted of s dot keys. From the dictionary we are getting only the key values and we are sorting the key values. Why we are sorting the key values? Because for each iteration we need to pick the shorter stick. That's why we are sorting. So now we will add the result n. Why we are adding the result in the first step? Here print the number of sticks that are left before each iteration. Because of the keyword before we are adding the result. After that we need to remove the shorter stick. For that n minus equals s of i. So i will be the shorter stick. s of i will give the count of the shorter stick. We will discard them. If we discard the shorter stick, we will get the remaining sticks from n. Now the loop continues until there is no sticks remaining. For each iteration, we are adding the result and at the same time, we are discarding the shorter stick. You can also ask the question like, we need to subtract the remaining sticks by the shorter stick. Here, after subtracting 1 from 2 and 3, 2 will always be the second shortest and 3 will always be the third shortest. For each iteration, we are discarding the shorter stick. We don't need to consider the value but the number of counts itself. That's why we are negating the number of counts of the shorter stick. Finally, return the result. Let's run the code. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. That's it guys. We solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.